pretty cold out there. Lots of snow and ice. We just had a big snow and ice storm come through. So, yesterday I got a phone call for a uh, ring recovery. You guys probably seen that video. Beautiful gold ring with three diamonds in it. There's a picture of that. That's beautiful. So after I found that ring, the lady, the wife, um, Teresa, she went on a website called Next Door. I never heard of it before, but she put on Next Door that I came out and found their uh, the wedding ring for them within a matter of minutes, and they're extremely happy. Well, within an hour, I got two more emails. One is for another diamond engagement ring that was lost four years ago in someone's backyard. Um, so that one is gonna happen shortly in the future. Um, currently, we got so much snow and ice on the ground and the area it's in is kind of overgrown, so gonna do is let this ice and snow melt down a little bit and then we're gonna go in there and look for that diamond engagement ring. The second email I got almost immediately about the same time was from a gal who was walking across the street to her mailbox to get her mail. She had to use a key to unlock the mailbox. She unlocked the mailbox, got her got her mail out and uh locked her, her box back up and as she was walking back across the street she dropped a piece of mail so she had to bend over and pick it up uh, and then she carried on went into the house and that was Friday night Saturday morning when she got up to leave to go somewhere she couldn't find her keys the only thing we have going working against us is obviously we had the snowstorm come through we're hoping that she didn't drop the key fob and keys in the road while she was crossing the road and the, the snow plow could have possibly taken it down the road so we're gonna go there hopefully maybe she just dropped it right there by the mailbox or dropped it in, in her yard or in her driveway or something maybe it just got shoveled off to the side like the ring did so we're on our way over there it's about a half hour drive I'm about halfway there now uh, when we get there, we'll turn the camera back on and we'll get the story and we'll get the looking for it and hopefully we can have some success. So, here we go. Alright, we made it. So, this is the deal. I'm guessing this is her mailbox. And she would have had to have walked across the street to her house, which is right here. So, somewhere in one of these snow piles, that's a big one. I don't know if we got a big enough shovel. We should have a key fob and some keys, hopefully. So, when Linda comes out, we'll get the full story and we'll go from there. <laughs> All right, we're with Linda today and she's going to tell us the story of what happened. Well, I've misplaced my car keys. Um, I think they might be out here in the snow somewhere. Uh, the only place that I've I've been is across the street to the mailbox and back, and then the next day I noticed they were missing. So okay. somewhere between here and there, I'm pretty sure that's where they are. Sure. Okay. And then your route, your path. That obviously, their pipe. My truck wasn't parked in the way. So did you walk just right across your driveway? Oh, yeah. Was this already plowed for the most part, or was it? Uh, was it, it was. Nah. Snow covered? Not bad, but not great. Okay. Um, they've come through several times okay. since uh, Thursday, but um, I think this was Friday. The, okay. With the holiday, I got all the days I, mixed up I, I this am week. too. I am so, too. So, I think this was Friday. I think this was New Year's Day that I that I did this. So, okay. um I had the dog with me. And drop some pieces of mail. So okay. I think when I bent over, I may have dropped the keys. Then, okay. 
Um, and you said you have it's one of them like remote fobs, right? You said you got to have it near the car or in the car right. to start it. Do you have another one of those? I do. I, it might be handy for me to test one to, to know what it sounds like. I've never actually looked for one of these. Well, before. it makes no noise. The fob makes no noise. No, but my metal detector might. Though. Oh. So okay. let's yeah, give it a shot. Grab the story. A neighbor. Okay. Yeah. Or I, I put it out on um, next door. Next door, right? And you had just found his wedding ring. Yes, no. that was yesterday. Yeah. And uh, man, that was fun. And he said, "Well, you should call this guy." And you know what? And you were the you were the second one to contact me. There was another gal. All right. Oh, you made my day. We're back on. Oh. She doesn't want to be shown on camera. No but, way. But uh, I will need to get a, a picture of you smiling with those keys, though. Uh, oh, my God. Here's where we found them, guys. Uh, here's her house. There's my truck. Oh, I kind of got you in the shop there. Sorry about that. Um, there's my truck. So we just searched that big pile here in her front yard. And then we walked across the street. We checked around the mailboxes. We checked that pile. We checked that pile. I walked halfway around the cul-de-sac. Came back. We checked the sidewalks again. We walked back across the street. I checked in the neighbor's curb by their trash cans all along there. We came back up. I searched the snow strip right here along the driveway. No luck. And I'd already been through here a little bit once, but I didn't come over here far enough. So as Chris likes to say, expand your search. I came over an extra 10 feet and they were sitting right here in the snowbank. So, day saved. Two recoveries in a row, success. All right, guys, until the next one, happy hunting, be safe.